94. Rank the following numbers in order from greatest to least. Now, what I like to do in a situation like this is to convert everything to a decimal number. So starting with 3 eighths, 3 eighths is 3 times 1 eighth. And if you recall from the notes I gave you in a previous problem, 1 over 8 is 0.125. If you multiply that by 3, you get 0.375. 100 times 3 will be 300. 25 times 3 is 75, so you get 375. So let's put that number here. And remember, you can use long division to convert this to 0.375 or your calculator. You could just type in 3 divided by 8 if this is a calculated problem. Now, 1 and 4 fifths, this is 1 plus 4 over 5. And 4 over 5 is 4 times 1 over 5. 1 over 5 is 0.2. 4 times 0.2 is 0.8. So this is 1 plus 0.8. So that's 1.8. 67.5%. To convert the percentage to a decimal number, divide by 100 or move the decimal point two units to the left. So this will be 0.675. So now we could rank it from greatest to least. So we'll put the large numbers on the left, the small numbers on the right. So let's start with the largest number. The largest number is going to be 1.8. The original number associated with that is that number one and four fifths so we're going to write it in its original form so that is greater than the next highest number is 1.645 and then after that between these three 0.675 is greatest so we'll write it in its original format 67.5 percent between these two 0.367 I can't speak, 0.365 and 0.375. 0.375 is greater than 0.365 because 7 is greater than 6. But we'll write 0.375 in its original format as 3 over 8. And then the last number, the lowest number, is 0.365. So that's how we can rank the, those numbers from greatest to least.